Hi guys, um, today I'm going to be showing you how to wire up a Marquee One Zig panel, 12 volt uh, distribution panel uh, for your camper van or motorhome. Um, very straightforward, very simple to use. As you can see, you've got uh, your selection of your power sources there, whether it's from your, your vehicle battery or your, your leisure battery, being the caravan one. Um, as you can see, you've got switches for your pumps, your lights, and your auxiliaries being, being 12 volt sockets or anything like that. Uh, and then you've got your, your fuses directly underneath them. Um, you've got the, the voltmeter there to, to tell you how much uh, power you've got left in, in whichever battery you decide to use. Um, they are probably one of um, the best uh, basic ones around really. Um, you can get into the more complicated ones like your surgeon systems like I've mentioned before and your CBE kits and things like that. Um, but there's not really a lot that can go wrong with these uh, and if there is it's very simple to fix. Um, so let's have a look on the back. Uh, so as you can see on the top, the, your top one is your, is your, is your vehicle battery. Um, so starting with, with, with your main power supplies in, um, your top one being your, your vehicle battery and your, and your bottom one being your auxiliary battery. Now you can either run uh, a twin core 12 volt cable with that or you can use uh, a single one as long as you're worth out uh, the, the unit later. Um, but normally for something like this I'd use a twin core so you take a positive and a negative feed off, off either battery, or both batteries. Uh, and obviously you, you, you print in line fuse on that as well. I'd probably recommend something a minimum of 2 mil tri-rated wire, probably 2.5 uh, just to cope with what's what's coming out of it at the other side. Um, so again, your main positive feed in there from your vehicle battery and your main positive feed there for your leisure battery. Now this white wire here that you pull out, all your negatives whether it's from your pump, your lights, your auxiliaries and your batteries can go to this. That's your negative wire and that's got to go down, uh, that's got to be earthed out basically onto your chassis. Um, now then, these ones, let's have a quick look what we've got, pump lights and an auxiliary. So that again is your main feed, your main positive to your water pump. Uh, it depends whether you run it to a micro switch or not. You could be just going to a, so for example, a, a sure flow pressure pump. Um, but that, that's that's your main positive feed there. And again, for your lights, you may have more than one one feed coming down unless you you know if you're looping them. Um, but again, your positive one goes to that that one point there. And again, underneath that one, 12 volt sockets. So if you've got USB sockets in there, anything like that. <clears throat> excuse me. Again, your main positive one is going to that, and then that's going out to um, these three, they're all going out to the, the appliances, your pump, your lights and, and what have you. But all your negatives will come to this one feed here. Now I know that um, your battery uh, connections, your negative and your battery ones are going to be earthed out anyway. But I always send a separate earthing wire down just to make sure there's no issues because um, that's one of the main troubles on, on, on the 12 volt wire inside especially is not getting a proper earth point in. Um, and really, to be honest with you, that, that is it on these ones. They're really straightforward to use, uh, really straightforward to wire up. Uh, again, if you've got any questions, <clears throat> excuse me, um, like I said, leave, leave uh, any questions at the bottom. I'll get back to you as soon as I can. And again, if you've got any questions about anything else, uh, I'll do my best and hopefully post some more videos for you. Thank you very much for watching. Thank you. Bye-bye.